Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from Chapter 5 of EDC book by Mr. Ballstead, 11th edition. And here we'll be discussing uh, BJT AC analysis, RE transistor model. And in that, we'll be solving end chapter question 5.9 and 5.10. So straight away on question number nine, the input impedance to a common emitter transistor amplifier is given, beta given, RO given, RL given. So let's get the circuit. This is although not given in the question, but this is the circuit, this common emitter transistor. We would use this circuit and we plug in the values that are given, Z in given, so right to kilo, beta given here. RO given 50 kilo and RL 2.7 kilo. And we have to find these five parameters to one by one. First one is RE, RE. If we know beta RE, then we can find RE. And beta RE is equal to actually ZI. So you can write that ZI is equal to beta RE. And from here, R E is at I over beta. We we'll just plug in the values simply. Z I is 1.2 kilo, beta is 140. So 1.2 kilo or 1200 divided by 140 is 8.571 ohm. This is R E. Then we have to find I B if B I is 30 millivolts. So I B we know Z V if B I input voltage divided by Z will give us uh, I B. So I B will be V I over Z I. Both values we know. Plugging in the value, I B will be 25 microampere. And part C is the current I C. I C current is actually beta times I B. So beta times I B. Plugging in the values, IC will be 3.5 milliampere. The next is the current gain AI, which is I out divided by I in, or in this case, it will be I L, I load divided by I B. I load divided by I B. Now, I load we have to find from this circuit by PDR. You can see this current we know, IC we know, this current is dividing into two paths. And so this path current IL will be the total current divided by total resistance. Total current divided by total resistance multiplied by opposite arm. We are finding current in this arm, so this is opposite arm. Now plugging in the values, IL will be 3.321 milliampere. IB is 25, so plugging in the values here, AI or the current gain will be 132.84. And finally, voltage gain is V out over V in, V in. We already know V out, we can write from here. IL multiplied by RL will be V out. But you can see the current direction, wherever the current touches, we know that terminal will be positive. So actually, it should be positive here and negative here. But the V out is given a positive at the top and negative at the bottom. Therefore, we have to use a negative sign with this. So for V naught, we'll write negative ILRL. And we can write the value of VI directly or we can write IV into ZI. So writing all the values, gain will be minus 298.89. So this is question number nine. Then question number 10 is common base configuration. So let's get the circuit. This circuit is for the common base. And we'll plug in the values. Plugging in the values, this is the current input current is given. 
input voltage is given in the question alpha is given and the load is given 2.2 kilo and here also we have to find these five or six parameters so first of all re now you can see from here that in this case this is this current is ie this is re and re is actually nothing but zi input and zi or re we can find from here directly voltage divided by this current will be re re is voltage input divided by input current it will be 15 ohm the next part is asking what is zi so zi we have learned that zi is actually equal to re and re is 15 ohm so it is answer is 15 ohm part c is ic which is alpha times ie plugging in the values we have we know the value of alpha we know the value of ie 3 milliampere so ic is 3.168 milliampere or b we have to find v out now v out is actually this current multiplied by the resistance in parallel r o parallel r l but r o is very high value as compared to r l therefore the parallel will result in simply r l so our equation will be now i c multiplied by r l and now plugging in the values of IC and RL, so this will be V out. Then the gain, we have V in, we have calculated V out, plug in the values, this is the voltage gain. And finally, I beta, beta, uh, sorry, base current IB. Now this formula is already given here but let me explain you we know this formula that ib is ic over beta we also know that ic is alpha times ie now beta we don't know not given but alpha is given so we can write beta in terms of alpha by using this formula plugging in here and then simplifying we get this answer that is what has been suggested and now we'll plug in the values so the answer will be 32 microampere. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.